By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand what this means. No, it's not 1 million and 10, 1 million, 100 and 1,001, and so on. It's not that. All a computer really knows is whether something is true or false, yes or no, one or zero. Despite the fact that a computer only knows zeros and ones, the real magic starts to happen when you put a bunch of them together. Binary all starts with a bit. A bit is a one or zero. When you put eight bits together, they become a byte. When you put 1024 bytes together, you get a kilobyte. 1024 kilobytes, you get a megabyte. 1024 megabytes, you get one gigabyte. Then a terabyte, petabyte, exabyte, and so on. Let's just go back to a bit for now. A single bit is either zero or one. Quite literally, actually. <laughs> now, if you add another bit to the picture, so you have something like zero, zero, well, it just means zero. If you have zero and one, still means one. One, zero means two. One, one means three. So the second bit, or the one at the left, is the larger one, just like a number. That is the twos bit, or basically, if it is a one, it means that you're adding two to whatever that number is. So zero, one, one still means three. It doesn't matter that we added a zero to the front. However, one, zero, zero means four. One, zero, one means five. One, one, zero means six, and one, one, one means seven. So the third bit is four. Now, you might notice already that each bit's value is the previous one multiplied by two. So 1,000 is eight, 10,000 is 16, 100,000 is 32, a million is 64, and 10 million is 128. At this point, it's actually a byte. 1,024 bytes is equal to one kilobyte. This means that one kilobyte actually has 8,192 bits. It's a lot of bits. Okay, so we have an idea of how to look at binary and then know what number it is. But how do we know what letter they correspond to? Well, A starts us off with zero, one, followed by five zeros and another one. You can kind of look at it as a million and one. In binary, this actually equals 65. Now, if you want to know what B is, it's just one more than A. There are 26 characters in the English alphabet. So with some simple math, you can figure out what each letter is. Z is 01011010. It's kind of like a palindrome and it equals 90. So we can figure that out because the first one on the very left is 64. The next one as we move to the right is 16. The one after that is eight. And the one after that is two and we add all that up together, we get 90. One thing to note is that technically 65 through 90 is actually the capital letters of the alphabet. If you wanna show lowercase letters, that's from 97 to 122. Binary is important to know because it allows you to understand the basic limits for things that are commonly used in programming. For example, an integer is commonly 32 bits. Now. You might think that that is basically two to the 32, which is 4,294,967,296. But that's not actually the case, as an integer can be negative. This means that about half of the numbers, minus one, are negative. So really 2,147,483,639 648 is the highest integer and negative 2,147,483,674 is the lowest. The extra one difference is actually for zero because you gotta have zero. Now let's get back to the start. What do we say here? I'll give you a clue. It's three words with two spaces. These are the spaces. So the first one is a B, then an I, then an N, then an A, R, Y. 
The second word is is. <laughs> and the final word is C O O L. Binary is cool. I hope you enjoyed learning about binary and understand why it's so awesome. Remember, I'm Jake. You're awesome. Thanks for watching. Cheers.